Hello and welcome to Gearheads. My name's Jesse and today we're going to be going over my list of the top 10 tools for auto mechanics from Harbor Freight. So we all know Harbor Freight. Some of us love it. Some of us hate it. Like it or not though, they do have some good things. They have some bad things. And I have a list, at least for me, that uh, of things that I've used and found either that were a really good deal or that I found really helpful. So uh, obviously there's probably a lot of other videos out there like this and there's tons more tools at Harbor Freight that uh, might be useful so if you guys have something that I didn't mention drop a comment down below and uh, share with us what you know some of your favorite tools are and the best buys that you've had there uh, so I went by and stopped at Harbor Freight today and that's what made me think about doing this video I picked a couple simple things up and then I'll, I'll show them to you in this video and um, yeah, so I didn't do like a walk through the store video or anything like that. That's not really my style, but I do enjoy watching videos like that. So Justin Dow, if you haven't seen his channel, go check it out. He has some pretty entertaining and fun videos walking through automotive and tool stores and stuff. His one that he did on Pet Boys was hilarious, and his, uh, his Harbor Freight ones are good too. So... Join me as we go into the wonderful land of Harbor Freight. So we're gonna start at 10, go down the list. So the first thing I'm gonna show you, item number 10, these wire wheel sets. These things are only five bucks. They're super useful. I use them almost every day at work. And I mean, for $5, you really can't go wrong. As they go bad, just go buy another set for five bucks and replace them. And lucky for me, at least Harbor Freight's close enough, I can stop by on the way home from work and then I'll bring it with me to work in the morning. Or I can stop by on my lunch break if I really wanted to. But either way, these things are awesome for $5, so I think that speaks for itself. Uh, check the link in the description. I'll have a link for each of these products that I'm showing you today, so head down there if you want to click and check them out yourself. Number nine on the list is going to be the file set. This is the five piece, 12 inch long file set. Now, depending on the kind of work you do, you may or may not use things like this a lot. If you're doing stuff all the time, maybe you might want to get a better quality one, but I do use them once in a while. And for $7.49, you really can't go wrong with this set. It's, you know, like I said, it's a five piece set. It's got the dome shaped one. It's got a triangle one. It's got a skinnier round one in there and a wider flat one. Honestly, it's just a really good set to have and keep around in case you do need a file for something. And, and I've found so far for just about anything I've needed, I've been able to take one of these and make it fit and make it work for the job. Next up is the four piece little pick and hook set. $2. I mean, I don't really need to say much else than that. Uh, you know, I, I went and picked these ones up today because I finally had either broken or lost the other ones that I had in my last set. And for two bucks, you know, you can break and lose them and who really cares? Uh, I find them real useful for pulling, you know, O-rings, pulling out small seals. And uh, also if you drop something and you need to use a little pick or hook to, you know, try and pull apart or pull a, a bolt or washer or something to get out of a tight spot, they can come in handy for stuff like that too. And like I said, for $2, you really can't go wrong. All right, first item up, over $10 so far, and that's gonna be the impact socket sets. Uh, these are the half inch ones. I cannot speak to the quarter inch and three eight ones, but at least for me, these half inch sets, I bought this metric set and I have the SAE set. They cost $25, they got a lot of sizes, all the common sizes you're gonna be using and needing every day. And I've had these things for six years now, using them every single day and have not broken a single one. And they also, so far, have not rounded off in the middle. I know impact sockets, will do that over time. They're kind of supposed to. They're made of a softer material than, uh, you know, chrome sockets. But these things have held up great. And for 25 bucks, even if they started to wear out in the next couple months or something, I got six years of use out of them and I have no problem going and buying another set. In my opinion, a very good buy from Harbor Freight. Next up, back down to less than $10 again. At $8.99, we've got the heavy duty screwdriver set. These things are great because for me at least so far, they have actually lived up to the reputation of being heavy duty. I use these things as pry tools all the time. As mechanics, we all know screwdrivers do get used as pry bars a lot. And sometimes, you know, as a hammer to tap things, whatever. I've had these things for about two years now and I haven't broken any of them yet. And at $9 also, totally worth the per, the per, the totally worth the purchase price. Uh, it is kind of cool to mention they do have a little hex section down on the bottom here so you can put a wrench on there to help you if you're actually using this as a screwdriver, which I do, I use these as screwdrivers as well, but uh, you know, handy to have around for prying on things as well. For nine bucks, who cares if it breaks? So next one up, and obviously so far all of this video is just my opinion and my experience on things, but I personally think if you wanna pick up some extra ratchets, it never hurts to have extra ratchets sitting around. And these Pittsburgh Pro ratchets, 
I've really liked so far. I bought a quarter inch one with the, you know, swivel head on, or not swivel, with the elbow on it, and I bought the 3 8 and I got the half inch one too. So far, um, I use them pretty dang often, and I haven't broken any of them yet. The teeth on them are really nice. They're really fine tooth. I don't know what the exact tooth count is, but it's a really fine tooth ratchet. And, uh, you know, I also really like having the swivel head. The comfort grip's kind of nice to have. Um, I think Harbor Freight is coming out with a new tool line of these Icon tools, and they're supposed to be a lot higher quality than a lot of their other basic tools they used to carry. And they're going to try and start competing with tool truck brands. It's my suspicion that they're basically going to start rebranding all the Pittsburgh Pro stuff to the uh, Icon line. So these probably will be sold as Icon in the future. But in any case, the only thing I can say that kind of sucks about these ratchets is... The uh, switch on them is reverse of just about every ratchet you've ever used. So if you're used to going by memory and switching this thing one way or the other and you know which way it's going to go, these could drive you nuts. Um, and I know it does bother some people. Personally, I always put a, the socket on it and I give it a quick twist and then I just flip the other way to w if it's not the direction that I want, you know. And I've done that on every ratchet, with, you know, whether it was the Pittsburgh ones, Matco ones, Husky ones, Snap-on ones whatever. But in my experience so far, using these back to back with some of the more expensive ratchets, they've been really good and I've liked them. Number four, coming in at $8.99 is the interior molding and trim uh, pry tool set. These things are great. Uh, if you're ever doing interior work, uh, I know there's obviously a lot of places you can buy this stuff from, but Harbor Freight to me at least is a good one. Um, these are not actually mine. I have my own set from somewhere else. These are my bosses, but I have used these plenty of times and they've been great. You're going to want pry tools like this that aren't metal so you're not scratching up stuff on the interior if you're having to pop things apart. Um, these allow you to be a little more gentle and careful. It's a five piece assortment so honestly it's a pretty good well-rounded set for less than 10 bucks that you can buy and actually use and trust me it will come in handy if you're doing interior work. Number three coming in at 25 bucks. Now I'm not a huge fan of necessarily all of the different wrenches that Harbor Freight sells. Some of them are kind of crappily made. A lot of the sets they sell are missing a lot of sizes and missing common sizes that you would actually use a lot and I don't personally like buying sets like that. But this set was not missing too many, and this is the 14-piece polished metric combination wrench set. At 25 bucks, I think this is a really fair price, and you know, there is probably better quality ones out there that are maybe stronger than this, but I have had this set for also about five or six years now. I've used them a lot and hammered on them a lot and still haven't broken one yet. The only size it's missing that I would prefer it you know, came with would be the 18 millimeter. Now, there's obviously tons of wrench options out there, and I personally have another you know couple sets of nicer ones that I use every day but these still come in handy for me a lot especially if you're doing brake jobs because they're so thin so some of the other brands out there the head of the wrench might end up being a little bit thicker than these ones the nice thing about these ones being so thin is they'll fit into places that some of my other ones will not and I found it really handy especially on like brake jobs if you're doing uh, the caliper pins on some vehicles the caliper pin you have to hold on one side and then take out the bolt that holds it in on the other side and some wrenches won't fit these ones do next up test light two dollars and 29 cents i mean how can you go wrong for two dollars and 29 cents on a test light uh they do have a couple other options if you want to get crazy and spend like three dollars and fifty cents on the clear ones instead of the yellow but i bought this thing uh, about eight years ago i've been using it all the time since somebody ended up borrowing it and tearing the uh the wire for it so you know what did i do i just unscrewed this thing soldered a new wire onto it that's a little bit longer the old one was think uh what three feet or five feet i don't even remember but either way you can always just crimp on or put on your own alligator clips, whatever. It's a test light. It's cheap, it's simple, and it works. I was on the Snap-on truck the other day and just asked because I was curious how much their old school test light is because they started selling the, uh, the computer safe LED test lights. Those things, in my opinion, aren't as useful, but that's a whole other topic for another day. I find these to be much more useful and he wanted like 60 bucks for a test light. It doesn't do anything that this one doesn't do. No brainer. Last thing on the list, coming in at 40 bucks, which actually tells you something because I've bought three of these things now and the first two I bought, I paid $30 for. I think they're selling so many of these things because they know they're a good tool, they end up upping the price on it. You don't see that happening too often, but Harbor Freight did. Now this is the Braun Magnetic Foldable LED Work Light. So this thing's magnetic, 
Very strong magnet actually on it. You, you know, you yank it off, or if you want to take it off of something nicely, just kind of pull angle and then pull away. Very bright, very, very bright test light. I actually have an Astro light, and this thing is just as bright as that. And um, the battery actually lasts longer than the, than the Astro light does. The only difference, the Astro lights kind of have a little swivel on the bottom, and they bend and fold around. This one's got the elbow. I actually kind of prefer this over the Astrolite style because I can go ahead and mount this on something, turn the light on, and I can just do a full, pretty much 180 degree rotation of this thing. And that, to me, is a lot more useful than the little swivel that is on the Astrolites, which I know, you know a lot of people like too. And I have one, it's a nice light, but for 40 bucks, this thing beats the crap out of it because the Astrolites are, it depends if you get them on you know, a website or something, you usually find them for 60 to 70 bucks. If you buy them on a tool truck, it's gonna be more like $100, 95 to 100 bucks, something like that. And this thing does have multiple settings, so it's got, if you click it uh, quickly, it'll go through them. It's just got three. It's got full brightness, lower brightness, and then it actually has a light on the end too, which is kind of cool if you want, and this thing's really skinny, so if you want to use it as a pointer light in a tight spot. So you click it once, twice, less bright, and then you got the tip one right there. So that pretty much wraps up my top 10 list, but I do have a couple honorable mentions. Now, the one thing I will mention because I just recently found out that they sell them, I don't personally own them, and that is their twist socket set. So they call these uh, bolt extractor sets. It's $25. Now, I will say I have a picture of one. Let me show that to you uh, that I had when I was looking at it in the store. These things, uh, if you look at the teeth on it, they go straight down the socket. They do not twist like the more expensive ones you buy if you go on a tool truck. Uh, I imagine Imagine that these probably will not work as well because of that. The other ones twist in a way to where they actually pull themselves onto the rounded off fastener harder as you twist versus these are just straight. So you're going to need to actually hammer it on pretty good. But I think it still probably would work pretty well. And it's at least worth trying. For 25 bucks, it's a really good price. Uh, you know, I end up paying somewhere around $200 for my set that I got from Bluepoint and that was on sale because I think it's over $300 if you buy it on the website. One more honorable mention would be the long drive punch set. Uh, this thing's a, what is it, five piece set and you can see they kind of have a little collar on them so it's the same thickness all the way down versus sometimes it, uh, depending on which ones you buy. Obviously I'm sure you can buy ones just like this for more money somewhere else. But I found them really useful, especially for punching things out like pins inside of uh, CV axles on Subarus and stuff like that. They work great. You get the size that you need and, and it's straight. It's not like the uh, some of the other you know more fine punches that you buy kind of get wider as they go and those don't work well for punching pins and stuff out. So you know I, I use this one kind of a lot for certain things. But I have found that you know the punch set that I got from Harbor Freight to be really useful in certain situations. And for nine bucks, I felt like it was totally worth buying. So thought I'd share that one with you too. So that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, obviously, like I said in the beginning of this video, all this stuff is just my opinion and my experience with these tools. Um, most of these that I showed you today are things that I've had and used for a long time and at least put a beating on. And I can tell you for a fact that they do work and they have, for me, lasted so far. And I know other people that have had the same tools and had them last and work well for them too. So. Being my opinion, I'm sure many of you also have your own opinions of things that I didn't mention that I should have or whatever. You know what? That's what the comments are for. So go down there, leave a comment telling me what some of your favorite purchases are from Harbor Freight. Tell us situations that, you know, it has helped you or tell us what kind of abuse you've put it through and how, you know, how well it's lasted and stood up the test of time and abuse. So as a mechanic, you know, it's always a mix of different things. There's guys that buy everything on the Snap-on or the Matco or the Cornwell truck or the Mack truck. And there's guys that buy everything cheaper online or on Amazon or Harbor Freight. And I'm personally kind of a mix of both of those things. There's certain things I like buying on the tool truck because of the warranty and because I have had experience with breaking the cheaper ones. So I went and bought the more expensive version. But, uh, you know, for a lot of consumable things and a lot of smaller things that are simple, Harbor Freight does sell pretty good quality stuff. And I've been happy with most of the things that I've bought from them. So maybe I'll do another video on some of the things not to buy from Harbor Freight. So if you guys want to see that, drop a comment down below and tell me also. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up uh, and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. We do tool reviews here. I do uh, sometimes how-to videos, shop talk, and stuff like that. So we're always doing things on this channel and uh, it's good to be back. We started back again about two months ago. So thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, keep wrenching. Keep wrenching.